Hello and welcome to another episode here on the channel. My name is Kevin Small and today we are talking about why did I choose Twitch over all the other streaming platforms after Mixer died. Well, to understand that we have to go back a little bit to what Mixer was. Well, when I came to Mixer, it was just Beep. There was no Mixer there. And I was looking actually for a streaming platform because I have been streaming on Twitch many, many years before that. And my first streaming experience was when the Hearthstone family and friends alpha was actually starting. And Blizzard was like, hey Mo, we like you. Here's the key. Have fun. Stream the game, please. Or, well, do something with the game. But I was deciding that I wanted to stream. So in the end, I was ending up on Twitch and after three days, we had over 300 people already sitting in the channel and watching us, which at that point was absolutely crazy because I didn't have anything else going. I didn't have a Twitter. I didn't have any social media. I was still doing my um, day job as a gaming journalist, but that was about it. And... Then it did grow and grow, but the problem was I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't have any mods. I didn't have any bots. I didn't have any alerts. I had nothing. Like it was purely just me playing Hearthstone. And in itself, that was pretty cool. But unfortunately, also, I also got hit by the pure toxicity the Twitch chat and the Twitch community can sometimes be. And I had a lot of people who were actually angry at me because they were like, hey, why do you get the key? Why are you getting to play this new Blizzard game and I didn't get anything? What is this? And they were really, really angry about this. And as you know, that never ends well. And at some point I was just like, you know what? No, I will not stream here. Like... This is not my job. I don't have to keep up with this bullshit. I'm just doing it for fun. I am out. So I didn't touch streaming for years then. And then it happened that I was thinking about doing streaming again and maybe giving Twitch a second shot. But then I heard about a new platform called Beam, which was just acquired by Microsoft. I was like, Beam, Beam, never, never heard of that. What is that? So I checked it out and there were three things which I noticed immediately. First, we have an amazing community, a tight community, not a lot of people, but an amazing community. Second, interactivity. Interactivity was absolutely amazing because you could interact with the streamer and the video game. And the third one was Zero Latency, who made this all possible like five years ago. Beam had the technology where there was no delay, like zero delay. Everything which happened on your stream happened at the same time at the computer of the streamer and there was virtually no delay. And it was amazing to see. It blowed my mind. I still remember when I first checked out Beam, there was somebody playing Overwatch and he wasn't actually playing Overwatch. The stream, the chat was playing Overwatch and they played Tracer and it wasn't a complete shit show because thanks to the zero delay in the activity, they could do it. Sure, it wasn't perfect and believe me, they were not becoming pro players, but just to see this whole thing in action was like mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing at the time. So I decided for me, well, this is for my own amusement. This is not for me, like, doing my job, not becoming a partner, not becoming a full-time streamer, just having some fun time. Let's go to Beam. So I was streaming on Beam. I was slowly building a community. And then, oh, well, I was ending up becoming a partner after nine months. And then after some time again, I became a full-time streamer on now Mixer because, well, Microsoft changed it from Beam to Mixer. And, well, then they killed it at some point. And then I was a full-time streamer for two and a half years when that happened. And now I had to make a new decision, which was clearly, where do I want to go next? 
what is my next go and why it was twitch we will talk about in a second but let's look at the options here so i had twitch youtube gaming and facebook gaming so twitch i would be real twitch still has all the issues it had five years ago but the good thing is i have now pretty robust community behind me i have mods i have bots and i have experience to cope much much better with these kind of situations so that already was definitely something i would consider but that was not the main reason let's look at facebook gaming i will be blunt here with you if i would have gone to facebook gaming my community made it clear to me that they will not follow me at least 95% of my community would have not followed me to Facebook. And this has to do with the clear name. Like they have to use clear names to chat with me. The thing is, if they are doing this, you can basically follow these people around. You can see what they are doing. But I have a lot of people who are working in jobs which they don't want to disclose because they're working in the gaming industry. They are working in at the police. They are working in other rather confidential jobs sometimes. And they really don't want to see their real name and all their real information in a gaming chat. And I can totally understand that. Well, and then there, of course, is the issue with Facebook itself and so many things where I was just like, do I, do I want this? Do I want to be there? And the answer is probably not. But there was another reason for that. And that was Facebook itself. Facebook didn't really do a lot to reach out to me to get me over to Facebook Gaming. They were offering me multiple things. And that was it. Every time I was asking them, hey, do we want to talk about this? Hey, what are the specifics? I never got an answer. I never got an answer besides of, I will come back to you. They never came back. So for me, it was rather simple that I will not go to Facebook gaming. But what's with YouTube gaming? I was actually thinking about YouTube gaming. And the problem with YouTube gaming is that you basically have to do YouTube videos on a daily basis. And you also need like a certain YouTube following to really find the live streamers because the problem is just um, YouTube and YouTube gaming or YouTube live streamings, they seem intertwined, but they are not. Like you cannot be a successful live streamer on this platform without really having a YouTube audience. And so what, what I would basically have to do is I would have to build a YouTube audience first before I could start to do live streaming again on YouTube. And I, don't, I didn't really want to do that. I love live streaming. I love this format because I don't need any scripts. I don't need any crazy editing. Like, I'm not a fan of that. I love the live aspect of it. And that's why I'm doing it. So it wasn't really an option for me, unfortunately. And well, why did I choose Twitch? Well, I already explained. I feel now much, much safer with my community to get on Twitch. But I saw how many of the other Mixer streamers were actually moving to Twitch. And I was just like, yeah, I want to be where my colleagues are, where most of the community was going to. And this is, this is fascinating. I had certain viewers who were watching me for years on Mixer. I had certain viewers who had been subbed to me for years and then they disappeared. Poof. I don't know where they went. And I was like, well, maybe the job, maybe life happens, you know, hopefully they didn't get hurt. Everything is all right with them. And that, that, that's it. That's all I wanted to know. 
And turns out, they did go to Twitch back. They bleed it back to Twitch. How do I know? <laughs> I found them again. Or, well, they rather found me and they were like, Hey, Mo, you are now on Twitch. That's amazing. Cool. I have been on, on Twitch for the last year or year and a half. Man, it's good to have you here. I will now watch you again more. And cool. And I was like, wait, what? You did go back to Twitch? Wow. I didn't. I wouldn't have guessed that, especially because they enjoyed their time on Mixer. And now, here's the thing. We're now partnered on Twitch. And thank you, Twitch, very much for that. They didn't have to do it, but they did it anyways. And Twitch is now the way for me to be for now. This might change at some point. Maybe Twitch will shut down, oh, I hope not, but I wouldn't have seen Mixer being shut down, like for various reasons, but that is a that is a complete different topic why I didn't saw that happen really, or I was oblivious to it, whatever you want to call it. But right now, our home is a Twitch, and that is twitch.tv slash chaosmode, we're streaming from Monday to Friday, starting at 8 a.m. EDT, which is 1 p.m. GMT. Did I say 8 p.m.? 8 a.m. <laughs> 8 a.m., which is 1 p.m. GMT, and 2 p.m. Central European time, and all the time zones. All the time zones. So confusing. And I definitely do believe that we will have a lot of fun on Twitch. We will have tons of games to play, and we will welcome soon more people to the channel. And I believe it was the right decision. Thank you so much for watching. I see you next time.